changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family.
have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that Vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. This is the Overseer, signing off. Lots of water out there, almost all of it undoubtedly irradiated. When in doubt, boil it out. If you get injured, and you will get injured, make use of stim packs. They are literal lifesavers. About the infrastructure out there in Appalachia, I suspect there isn't any. <laughs> Heck of a party last night, eh, Mum? Good to see you all together one last time. Drunk? Joyous and not staving off a horrible death in five Overseer's log, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Your 
tap is the key to survival and rebuilding, so use it often. Never stop learning. Be the best that you can be. one of Voltec's many, many mottos. Hard work is happy work. Leaving this warm, secure vault for a hostile wilderness with no running water or electricity. Some may call them jobs.
Now don't get them. All right. Woohoo! America! Woo woo woo! Have fun. Try not to die. The entire country is counting on you. So please, for the love of God, don't screw this up. They grow up so fast.
Overseer's Law, south of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? And... No people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is... Hostile territory. Fortunately, vault -Tec was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. This is the Overseer, signing off.
Overseer's Log, town of Flatwoods. My God. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but... Gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions, and its voice. Angry, tortured. We are one. Hey, I'm on one. Here. Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Before they were wiped out, the survivors called themselves the responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long, and things have been rough. Welcome to Survivor Stories. I'm Dasa ben Ami, a responder. I've been working with the responders for a couple of years now. I'm from Charleston originally, so it was easy to join up. What wasn't easy was the work. Rebuilding Appalachia from the rubble while survivors flocked to us regularly from all over. So many have come and gone. Their stories untold. Their names lost to time. I thought we should preserve this history somehow. I've decided to ask people to record their thoughts, their stories, anything they want to preserve forever. I'll call this series The Survivor Stories. I'll start with me. I was an anthropology PhD student at Vault Tech University. Final year. I was printing my thesis when I heard the siren. I, I thought for sure my father, a Vault Tech employee, could take us all with him, but uh, only two reservations came through. I refused to go. With my little brother, he went to the vault could not persuade me, though they tried. In the end, I pushed them inside it, and that was it. After that, I, I went back home to Charleston and, well, survived. Eventually, the responders formed, and I, I signed up right away. It was so hard. The flood. It was devastating. Relocating to Morgantown Airport and now Flatwoods has been... I, I remain optimistic. Been with them now for, uh, well, I guess two years. We have big plans. We can do so much to help. Maybe, just maybe, we can rebuild enough to be okay. And in the meantime, I will continue to record stories of survivors when I can. We are your history. This is Dasa Ben Ami, signing off for now.
Reverend Delbert Winters. Hi, I met you in the woods near the Morgantown Airport. You were picking flowers. Why? Uh, I was uh, harvesting a lot of stuff, Ashley. I, I hunted deer recently. Looked strange, but tasted fine. Hmm, okay. Well, what's a basic easy meal that someone who's been surviving on cans could make? Uh, you can make tea with dried flowers. It's not much, but it can suit your stomach. I don't know what this flower is called, but I, I call it a soup flower. <laughs> if you added water, you can make a tea. Same with rabbit meat or chicken meat. You can easily make soups with boiled water. God willing, we can adapt old recipes to new types of food. Well, what do you mean by that? Back in the Army, we got sent off to places with weird fish I never heard of and weird veggies I never seen again. You know, we had to cook with them still. Just pretend it's catfish or something. You see how it turns out. Now, well... Let me say that I've seen some weird stuff. I thought maybe it was unholy, but these are all the creation of our Lord, even if man has manipulated them. And dang it, they're still edible. Oh, um, oh, okay. Well, uh, what kind of veggies do you eat? I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. Found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoga to Flatwoods. It was rough. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were climbing up the river. I was in Watoka, 
coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of survivors. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. <laughs> 